I don't know. I never been. I never been good at talking about the people. You know what I'm saying? Sure. In a way of like, uh, I get that. Like, cause I would get, cause if people talk about me, I just get mad. Uh, so uh, when I was a kid, I would just fight. You roasted me, I'm fighting. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> we just gonna have to fade. Sure. So when I started doing comedy, people thought the roast battle. I was like, I'll just stay no. out of it, cause I know who I am. You, you got to hug at the end of roast battle, so it's like a rule. You yeah, know that? I'm not hugging nobody. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I, if You talk shit. Hugging I'm gonna, with a knife. I'm gonna find your mama. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> That's why I knew I could. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna up. find your grandma. Like, yeah, you know sure. Yeah, your family's in danger. Yeah, so I, I knew for a fact. Like, I can't get into any of this. You know what I'm saying? This shit. That's such an. That's so interesting. If you're like not into the roast thing, but then you fucking do so well in the Kill Tony universe, the environment yeah. of that. Yeah. I mean, how long did it take for you to like get on that show, have that big big clip, and then now you're on the panel with them? You're sitting at the table. Yeah, oh, uh, so I, I was, uh, when I moved to Texas, I think I signed up like nine times before I got on. Whoa, okay. And the time I got on, I wasn't even finna go back. I had told him, so I was done, signed up. Is sure. this it? Yeah, I was, it was like, an it. angel came down from heaven? Well, my, I, got, I got some big shit, and I wanted yeah. to tell my homeboy about it, and he was over there waiting. Yeah. Uh, so I went over there to go tell him, and when I told him, they, I, I got pulled. Whoa. That's crazy, man. Yeah, so I was like, oh, shit. Well, that was, That's uh, awesome. How long did it take from you to get pulled to, to you sitting at the table? Because you judged, right, at one point? Well, yeah, so I got pulled. I did one, I did one set. Um, and then the next week, David Lucas was going to retire. Yeah. And so I became, the, I became like a, I think maybe in two weeks. I think I became the regular in like, nice, in like two weeks. So nice. I got on, uh, did a 10-year, I became a regular. And then like a, like I, it was like a, like a month later, I yeah. was on the panel. So that's a crazy turnaround time. That's insane. I that's mean, crazy. as a new regular, how do you feel about all the drama going on with the with oh, the yeah, Hans man, Kim fuck shit? Fuck Rick Diaz, man. Yeah. Who do you, who do you got? Yeah. You got a side? Huh? You, yeah, man. Fuck Rick Diaz, man. <laughs> Yo, fuck Rick Diaz. Yeah, man. Yeah, fuck dude, Rick I'm Diaz. With, I'm, with, I'm with European ass. Get down here. You're stand. You're standing tall with your brethren on the. I like on the that. Show. Man. more of like a thing where it's like, man, you have everything anybody could ever want. Sure. You gotta go to take it. You can come back whenever you want. You know what I'm saying? Tony he set, he set up. Why does he want to take it from Hans? Yeah, what you want to take something from another grown man for? He's taking food off this nigga plate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. So Also, Hans is like a great guy. A great dude. I Hans love let Hans. him in his house. Yeah. Nigga, we nice was guy. all cool to that man when Hans he, when been he came. nothing but good to me, man. Yeah, Hans is a great guy. Everybody that on the show is like phenomenal people. I met bro. Hans in like 2020 before he was yeah. on Kill Tony, and he was like the nicest guy. And like. Nothing but good things You met to him say during him. Stop Asian Hate times. I met him right before Stop Asian Hate. Okay. But Hans is you're like, a, you're a stop, I, I was, you're a stop Asian Hate hipster. I was hate still hipster. pro Asian Hate. Yeah, I was, you were still at that I point. Was still Hans Asians. turned you? Yeah, Hans no, made you feel I a saw certain him, way. I turned around and did the eyes. I was, yeah. And Hans put his hand on your shoulder and was like, you can't do that anymore. Yeah, I'm not racist towards Asians anymore, though. I didn't say what I just said. We will cut that out, and that's fine. No, no, keep it in. But smoking a cigar make you feel like you own like a boat or something. Yeah, yeah. I do not own a. I might. But it make you feel like. Yeah. Like I feel like I could like. Maybe yeah. like a kayak someday. Yeah. I yeah, buy, I feel I like an investor a in a restaurant chain. Yeah, like I feel like I just bought. We're talking this place. business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like yeah, nigga, you know, bro, Shane is, has like it's new thirty minutes is like fire. Yeah. Already. And it's like, when did you have time to do this? <laughs> what what, was, what was he doing? That? He must have been planning some of the, like I think a lot of the times it's like they put jokes for their next thirty minutes within the hour they're working on right now. And they start I working. They cut on it the out. Road. They cut it out of the actual taping or whatever. But they now are ready to be able to continue to work. Sh- Shane's way, the like, nicest guy. Huh? Shane's the nicest bro, guy. Bro, he's the best. He's bro. the best. Like Shane man. Gillis is like a, a great dude. Like it's insane. Like I, I mean, like you meet people like that. It's like okay, that's what I want to be when I get. To, you know, you know what he yeah. did. I don't know if you want everybody to know this shit, but it's just a cool thing he did. He uh he um he, he did a show at the mothership. Yeah. And then he told the manager, like, hey, no, don't pay me, just give the give the payment to the staff. Like oh give the staff the, the money. Bro, nigga, that's some shit you uh, that's, that's shit I, I that's love. Role to do when model I, you know shit. That's role model shit. I think that's beautiful. Be like, dude, that's nah, don't, beautiful. don't pay me. I, I'm, and I think I'm up I, enough. You feel dude, I think I'm a hero when I pay for my girlfriend's McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> and he's yeah, he's like, Yeah, this is uh life changing money. Yeah, just give it to the wait staff, dude. I wanna get yeah, to that dude, level yeah. of baller. Then you really earned a cigar around a tarp. Yeah, you feel me? Then you really earned this shit. Yeah, yeah. That's like but that's like being on people like that, it's like, okay, this is the yeah. Yeah. This is the level that you're striving to, to get to. And so, you know what I'm saying? That Austin's way. filled with good role models. People that are just like generous, yeah. paying it forward. Like, I love that, dude. That's, that's, the whole, that's a I great that's story, the whole man. Ship. I think that's the whole foundation of the mother shit. It's like, oh, come on. Like, sure. I'm Tony's a paying it forward. Shane's pouring it forward. When I first Ron got White's there, betting on people racing, which feels racist, but he's still paying it forward. Still pay, he, and that's, and he, he's going and he back to his white man. At his age, he can be. And the white man won. So I'm like, oh, shit. I mean, was it racist? 
Cause it would have been, been racist. He'd be like, I, I, "My money on the black nigga." My oh, money you're on right, the nigga. you're right, you're right, you're right. He, all he said was, "I'm giving the money to the winner," and a white man won. That's not racist. That's genius. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they, that's reverse reparations. That's reverse reparations. <laughs> like, damn, I could have had five dollars wrong. It's yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. shit. Oh, fuck. Damn. I mean, what's the writing process like now that you're fucking having to be on the road? You have fans. You're doing that. What is that? Has uh, that changed for has you? Has that changed for you? Yeah. No, oh, that's a, a good it's, question. That's it's hard, the, man. It's the same, it's the same shit. I, I write down. I actually, I say the same shit, but I, I write down shit more now. I got to write shit down now. Just be like, I used to be like on my, on my, on my brand and on my phone or something, but I like to write it down. You know what I'm saying? Shit like You're that. You're a professional now, man. Yeah. So, I, man. I But I got to get, I, sure. I got to get time for the road, and I get time for Kill Tony. Sure. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no, every minute I do now is brand new. Yeah. So it's like, now I got to stay stay on the top of, like, it's a, it's a lot of, yeah. just staying on top of shit. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? Is it like staying a, ahead. I mean, I, so like, when you're writing like material for your act, is it like different when you're writing material for your act, being like, Oh, I can write a five, ten minute bit to fit in 45. As opposed to like Tony, it's like, I got to write a minute. Is that like, because you're like, I got to find five punchlines in a minute. As opposed to when it's your act, like you can tell stories, you can do more. So I, st I still try to stay to storytelling. Okay. With Kill Tony. I just try to. Um, you got to cut it out? I try to cut a lot of fat. Yeah, I, feel I cut that. a lot of fat. And then when, I, when people see the whole show, I, you know what I'm saying? I add more punches, I do other shit. No, that's, about. that's a very interesting. I've always thought this about the Kill Tony regulars. Like, what's the biggest? Started as one minute, I was able to make it this many minutes. Yeah. What What's the biggest you've been able to make? A, what started as one minute? Shit. Only Only joke I can really tell you right now is that the bodybuilder joke that I did the last week. I did a joke about. Why well, it wasn't even my minute. It was a story I told. What I was working on. Sure. So I told it as like I told it as like this is what I'm saying like an interview portion, but that was like. You talk about that for like two minutes, now it's like a four minute bit now. You know what I'm nice. saying? Oh, I, I, get, that, I just man. keep adding. That's shit good on returns. I love your. Uh, I, I I love see I because I I saw you on Kill. I don't I didn't really watch Kill Tony until I moved to Austin. How lovely! Yeah. I started watching it. I think I saw like your first episode. I was like, all right, this guy is cool. And then I moved to Austin, and we saw you coming to Chicago for this festival. And we're like, oh. You guys knew who he was. I was like, we'll ask him. And I moved. I was like, oh, hey, we just asked. Like, right as I moved there, we had just, like, did yeah, that day. Just seen. And I was like, oh, I just, like, hit you up. And you were, like, very cool, very nice to work with, man. And, uh, and like, I remember, like, being like, oh, I saw him do a minute, but, like, can he really perform? I saw him at the creek. Because I, like, I didn't know. And yeah. you killed at the creek. And I was like, and it was, like, it was, like, a tough crowd. You killed. And I was like, oh, this guy's for real. Like, I texted Chris, and I was like, oh, Cam. Cam's gonna be fucking great. Like I was like, I was like so excited. Yeah, thank you. Cause I was like, I was like, this guy better be funny. Nah, I only you. see a minute of his shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was, I was, I was, I was trying to size you up, and then yeah, I saw I you really up and kill, and I was like, he's for real. Yeah. I put you on my Instagram story that night. I was like, oh, this guy's for real. Like, he's nah, not I mean just like, lot, he's not just like guy can do one minute. Yeah. Like, he I'm sent excited. me the original draft. He did take out all the slurs he wanted to put initially, and yeah, I was like, that's nah, a bad nah, idea. No, no, no. Don't put that. Don't say that. But I mean a lot to it all, cause like, yeah. The, the the thing about like coming up kind of fast is like not like the world watching this shit. No, like but you, you already had two years of experience though. You um, know what I mean? Yeah, but that's I me. Mean, two years in the comedy ain't. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Like two years in the comedy, like ah. Yeah. No, sure. I know. I'm seven years in, dude. I'm here. Like, <laughs> I think. Oh shit! I did it wrong. I should have did this good. different. You're doing great. Yeah, help me out. Help me out. Help me out. You're doing okay. No, no, I'm You're trying to it, light it and still talking to Mike. But now, what I what I think though for comedy is like it's like um the age. How long you been doing comedy is like a toddler. So two years, I'm still like a baby, you're like a seven year old kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we nah. still like growing. I'll beat your ass on the playground. Nah, for real. You fucked me up <laughs> until you lose. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like. We'll see. We'll see how my set goes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll talk. Then you talk. <laughs> but it's just like, well, it just, it just feel weird to be two years in and be like, oh, like, the pressure's immense. But it's mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Just keep sure. running this shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Ain't no stopping now. Shit I already taking off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, do it. Get it. Well, I think I've got to wrap up this episode because they gotta, they gotta, they're gonna put a football game As on. You can TV. see, yeah, all the amazing people who've been very patient yeah, with us again, here at Up Uptown, Down, Up Down Cigar Lounge yeah. in Old Town Chicago, next to Zany's Comedy Club. Come here before a show, after a show, probably before a show. You absolutely should smoke mm -hmm. a cigar here. Yep. BYOB. Staff's amazing. The conversations at every table and indoor are just amazing. Yeah, the people have been fucking awesome. We got a great company here. They're about to fucking watch the Steelers game. I know you're gonna be checking your phone. You're going to be checking your phone during the show. I love the Steelers, savage. man. Steelers Titans, we're excited about it, man. It's going to be nice. All right. Well, Cam, nice having you on the episode. Yeah, thank and, uh, you, man. We'll we're going to enjoy you on the we're show. Gonna now, yeah, we're going to enjoy this fucking cigar and yeah, just yeah, hang. Yeah, talk. Let's hang out. Thank yeah, anything, you, my man. Anything, anything you want to plug? Any I got or whatever? Cam and the wife's coming out soon. 
Oh, uh, that looks great with Lucas yeah. McCrary. Yeah, so he's on. Uh, yeah. Lucas is fucking awesome. Lucas the best, bro. He Love did our him. show years ago. For real? Like a year ago, about a year ago yeah. today, yeah. Bro, Lucas is the every like real shit. Every dog guy in the money ship is like, yeah. like killer. What the fuck, bro? So good, man. That's why I like being right. It's like what the? It's like it's like strategically handpicked. It's like, dude, these niggas, my peers are phenomenal. Wow. Comedians.